Hi everyone, um, I'll be taking us through a tutorial on how to create um, an interior boundary condition. Um, in Fluent, you can directly select an interior boundary condition, and so it's advisable to create it before you get to, to Fluent um, setup. And so for this, I'll be showing us how to go through um, creating an interior boundary condition on a 2D model. So first I'll be creating my model using Design Modeler. Okay, so we're in Design Modeler now and then I'll be using the XY plane for this. So first I create my sketch. So we're creating a box. And then I'll be creating a surface out of it. So I'll be creating my interior boundary. Um, that will be another sketch. the surface for it okay then I'll be using brilliant to create an intercept intersection between both of them so I'll be using it subtract so I'll be subtracting the circular domain from this but still retaining my tool body so my target body will be this um, and then my tool body will be this I'll be preserving my tool body and generates I still have two bodies if I hide this Let's see okay now we have our interior section let's create our ball itself or circular domain that acts as our ball in this in this case so another sketch in the extra plane okay um generate then um we generate the surface also Now we subtract that surface from what we we'll call from from the larger circle. And to do that, we follow the same procedure. But now we'll be subtracting. So now our target body is this, and our two body is this. So we're not preserving it. Since that we act as a wall. Yeah, so this is what we have. We have this and we have this. Now we need to first make this into one part. This is two parts to body. We need to make it into one part. And to do that, we select both of them. Then we say form new parts. So with that we have one part to put. So with this we can easily create a shared topology for both of them. 
Before we do that, I would like to change both of them to fluid. Okay. So with that, um, I can use the shape shape topology now. Yeah, and so it will it will notice it will um is intuitive so it will it will just basically make this into one so it will be a one part with two bodies and so i will generate so with this with this I can go to my mesh to my mesh now. Okay. Then this so for this we'll create a simple mesh. Just create a simple mesh. Um, generate I'll make this I'll make this um, I make this like let's say one meters. I could do something. Let me make this. Let me create a method, and then under selection, select this. And then I can make this all try just to show us a different mesh I could do um, because of the possibility of an interior so I could create different meshes. Yeah, so I can I can just do this generate so then I could create a different mesh for this to do that go to method again and then for this yeah I could use yeah then generate so you can see here I have a triangular and here I have a, a quad kind of mesh and so remember the whole idea is to create an interior so such that this is an interior boundary condition okay so we are done basically we are done with this so we just name we just name our our faces I could um, I could name this interior one and this know what you want we just name this wall and I can name this all right so with this to go so we generate mesh once more and then we 
check it out on friends. So right now I'm going to update my mesh. Then I will open Fluence. Okay, right now we're in Flames, and so we could just go through boundary conditions. Oh, you could see that um, I made a mistake. I went, and so under the display. Under display mesh, should we display everything? This is what we have, and and then we could check we could check all of them out. So this the boundary for ball, ball and inlet. So this interior one and this interior two, and then this serve as our interior boundary so that's part surface so this is it so yeah an interior is different from an interface so that an, an interface could serve as a wall could serve as um, like your fluid is transitioning from a different property to another but with with an interior it's the same fluid condition but you could specify what is maybe within you could specify what is within the interior so it gives you a number of flexibility so as i said if you specify this as maybe something else or if you don't follow the procedure i did it will come out as a wall instead of as an interior so we could see that here we could see that here so over here we see that it's interior. Unlike this, which is a wall, specified as a wall, and as you see, you could you will find interior over here. Yeah, so that's all I have in creating interior using 2D. Thank you very much.